Everglades, there's a way of life. It's a way of peace without stress or strife. There's a fellow there who protects these rights. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades. But they'll fight for rights and the homes they've made. Simple grassroots people of the Everglades. There's a natural danger and a man to face. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. Moving, ever moving, moving, ever moving through the Everglades. of a link veil. Can I help you? <laughs> Judd Hallam. Well, Ada Davis has spoken to me about you. I'm glad your parole came through, Judd. Welcome home. I've reported like I was supposed to anything else. Well, there's some forms we have to fill out. Oh, take a minute. Coffee perking on the stove should be ready about now. Come on, Judd. Sit down. Settlement? No, my cabin was sold to pay off my debts when I was sent to prison. Lewis says you've got to give me an address. Same people still living in the settlement? Yes, I think so. In well, that case, I'll be close by. Maybe one of those vacant hammocks for a while. For a while? I got some personal business. Then I'll be moving to the city. How can I go now? I'll just sign this. Uh, Judd, I'm supposed to remind you, if you get in any trouble, you can be sent back to prison. Well, now, thanks for reminding me, Constable. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I sure will. <laughs> came through, huh? Ada said you weren't expected out for a few months yet. Why didn't you let us know? Why, uh, I thought I'd surprise everybody. Wait till I tell Ada. Sure didn't show him much time, did you, Judd? Depends on how you look at it. Three years in prison can be all right. Hey, Ray, come on out. See who's here.
Hello, Judd. Glad to see you. Brave. I'll take this stuff. Let me see these. Bring them out. This will have to do me. Law says I can't own a gun no more. Aiming to settle down here for a while, Judd? Oh, not for long. Got some visiting to do. A lot of old friends to look up. You're welcome back. But we don't want any trouble. Now, I've learned sometimes a man doesn't have much say about something like that. I guess folks should be prepared for the worst, huh? That's how to do it. up right now. Come on. No, I, uh, I've got things to do, Ada. But you just got here. Why aren't you coming over to see me? Well, I, uh, I didn't want to bother you. I figured maybe you were married or something. Married? You know better than that. I told you I'd wait for you. I knew you were married. Well, what is it then? I don't have the right to call on you anymore. What are you talking about? I love you. Why do you think I've been waiting for you these past three years? The man you waited for is dead, Ada. Now look at me. Oh, take a good look. There's no love left in me, Ada. Nothing but hate. Oh, I'm sorry. Judd. You won't always feel this way. You'll get over it. Let me help you. There's no sense trying. It wouldn't be worth it. What are you going to do? Oh, I got plans. No, Judd. No. Please don't, Judd. Judd! No, don't, Judd. Please don't. <laughs> to arrest Judd Helen. Arrest him? What's he done? It's what he's planning to do. He's got revenge in his heart for most everybody in the settlement. Oh. So that's it. I've been reading a transcript of his trial. It doesn't tell me much about him personally. But it does say he was convicted of an open and shut case of manslaughter. Well, Judd isn't a killer, Link. He's a good, gentle man. Well, but look at the facts, Ada. He claimed Sid Davies was cheating him on payment for skins. He even admitted going to Davies' cabin that night and getting in a fist fight with him. But he swore he didn't shoot Sid. He was killed with Judd's gun. Well, like Judd said, somebody stole it from his place that night. Who? There weren't any other suspects. I think Sid was owed money by just about every man in town. That's why his account book never showed up. Whoever killed him took it. 
Why wasn't that brought out at the trial? There wasn't any evidence. All the men folks got together and lied, saying they didn't know Sid anything. And one of them, the real killer, lied more than the others. That's why Judd's so bitter. You blame him? Well, the important thing is to see he doesn't get arrested again. Why don't you go home, Ada? I'll talk to him. Thanks, Link. You don't waste much time looking up your ex-cons, do you, Constable? Just wanted to find out how you're getting along. Oh, no, I'm getting along just fine. No plans for going back to work? No, not here. Uh, excuse me. Or uh, is that a violation of parole? Well, you're supposed to be, quote, gainfully employed. Oh. Oh, there's no rush. The trapping's pretty good this season. Well, as long as that's not an official order, Constable, uh... I'll just keep visiting a while longer. Well, I got things to do. Like hanging around the settlement making threats. Now, anyone who says I've been making threats is a liar. You're out for revenge against the whole town, aren't you? Uh, a thing like that would be a violation of parole, wouldn't it, Constable? Can you prove it? No. And I don't want to have to. As of right now, stay away from the settlement, huh? Scared. That's an order, Judd. How are you going to back up that order? Keep a watch on him? What's going to keep him from sneaking around this town? If you really want to do something for us, Mayo, see that he gets out of the county. He's got the right to live where he wants. Seems to me that whether he's right or wrong, Judd must have some reason for feeling the way he does. Oh, sure he's got a reason. We all had to testify that he owed Sid Davies money. Weren't there others who owed him money? Maybe a lot more than Judd did. Well, we didn't owe him a dime. You're a liar, Quint. You owed him $200 and he was pressing you for it. That right, Quint? I paid back every last cent. You can ask my wife. But let me tell you something about Willie. He hated Judd. He wasn't near good enough to marry his sister. I, I guess that's right, Link. At least I felt that way till I found out how much Ada loved him. Then I just changed my mind. What's that got to do with what's happening now? The thing where you want to know as decent law-abiding citizens is what are you going to do about Judd Hallam? See that he obeys the law? and gets the same protection under it as everybody else. Didn't even bother to put the door back on. I don't see any proof it was Judd. Why? Because he didn't leave his calling card? We're all scared of Ben. All our traps were poached. Well, except Willie. Seems kind of funny the poacher didn't touch his traps. Like Link says, there's no proof against Judd. Don't seem any likely either. Why don't we go look him up? Now, wait a minute. 
Finding out who broke into those traps is my job. Well, we all got it right. All our traps were poached. As long as I'm constable around here, I'll do the law enforcing. I'll look you all up and tell you what I find. about time for you to show up again. We had some trouble last night, Judd. Poacher. Found these on the bank. They belong to you. Now, you're going to believe me if I tell you I've never seen them till now. Where were you last night, Judd? Here. <sighs> Only I can't prove it. Well, I guess these, uh, these just naturally make me the poacher, huh? Well, some people think you are. But I'd give you credit for more sense than to hang them right up in the open. Oh, thanks. Stealing a few skins isn't the kind of revenge you're after anyway, is it, Judd? You don't think I'm going to talk of that uniform, do you? Forget about the uniform. Aren't any witnesses? You can say anything you please. Ada claims you were framed for Sid Davies' murder. Is that true? Yeah. Any idea who framed you? No, it could have been any of them. So you're going to take it out on everybody, even though it means going back to prison, huh? I figured it'd be worth it. I don't know. Think maybe you're changing your mind? No, I'm going to do it. The, uh, no, there's, there's no rush now. No? No rush at all, Judd. From the looks of things, seems like you might even decide to settle down here for a while. Now, what I told you still goes. I'm getting out of here when I finish what I've got to do. What happened? Sound like I come from Ray's place. Find your baby shot. Who did it, Ray? Shut the hell up. now, Judd. Put your hands up. A dead set on me being the poacher, huh? No, just against the murderer. Now, I should have figured you'd all get together on some reason to come gunning for me. Listen to me. You got him. He's not making any attempt to escape. You got to turn him over to Link Vale. Shut up. We'll take care of this. behind that log.
I call real luck. Now, give me that pistol. Put your guns down. Now, whose idea was this? When a man tries to kill you, you got the right to go after him, don't you? Judd tried to kill you. Here's the proof. What are you doing walking around? Let's take a look at it. Flesh wound. Well, you were lucky. Yeah, I guess I was. You must have been awfully close. You've got powder burns. How'd he do it? Well, he busted into the back of my place. I ran up to the front of the store. He followed, knocked me down, grabbed my gun, and shot me. Now, whoever fired a pistol that close would have powder burns in his hands from the flashback. Let's see your hands, Clint. Me? That doesn't make sense. Rafe knows I didn't shoot him. Well, Rafe was expecting Judd. He could have been mistaken as to who it was, couldn't you, Rafe? Yeah. Yeah, I could, Link. What do you mean? You paid me to shoot you! Shut up! Oh, by the way, you won't find any powder burns on your hands. I was bluffing, Quint. I figured somebody was trying to frame Judd. This was the only way I could prove it. Go home, go home. Pick up your guns and go on home. Get in the air. All right, get in the boat. about Ray. He really confessed he killed Sid Davies? Well, he owed him a lot of money. Thought he could get out of it by killing Sid and blaming it on you. No sense hating him now, Judd. He's gonna pay for it. Yeah. yeah and I know how. Well, you know, in a way, I kind of feel sorry for him. Well, anyway, uh, well, the main reason we're here, uh, uh, we just got married. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations. Uh, well, aren't you gonna kiss the bride? Come on, come on. <laughs> come on! Uh, uh, where are you going? Gonna move off of the city? Oh, no. No, we're sticking right here. The Everglades. Come on. <laughs> on Everglades. A photographer and a parachute are clues that lead Link Vale onto the trail of a vicious and savage criminal. Certainly goes nice with your skirt. That's parachute nylon. Where'd you get it, Mary Lou? Why, I found them in Reynolds' trash box. All right, now I'll take those. Are you out of your mind handing this stuff to a cop? Safest place in the world. If he had any suspicions, he doesn't have them anymore. Look at him. If he doesn't stop snooping around, he's going to be a dead constable. Where are you going to run, boys? Which way is safety? Come on, let's go. I can't. The wind from this front will turn us over. What are you doing? In the Everglades, there's a way of life. It's a way of peace without stress or strife. There's a fellow there who protects these rights. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. A 
but they'll fight for rights and the homes they've made. Simple grassroots people of the Everglades, there's a natural danger and a man to face. Lincoln Vale of the Everglades, the man on patrol in the Everglades. Moving ever moving through the Everglades. Moving ever moving through the Everglades. Moving ever moving, moving ever moving through the Everglades.